Hello I am Husning Farid. I am interested in computers, hacking, machine learning and data science. Today's topics is how to do your reconnaissance properly before chasing the bug bounty. Today I am talking about the love story between bug bounties and reconnaissance. But before I do I should say that I'm not much of an expert, and this article reflects me sharing my personal opinion. This video post will be focusing on recon where to look for bugs in a bug bounty program. This is not a guide on how to find bugs in a tech sense, but rather a case of tactics you can use to find bugs. I am assuming you already know about penetration testing, therefore I will not be explaining how to test for vulnerabilities, but rather where to test for them the tools you can use. This is mainly just a general overview of how someone would map out a target site and efficiently perform reconnaissance to gain as much info on the site as possible before beginning their audit. Recon is an essential element of any penetration testing. Bug bounty programs are not very simple. The thing you need to remember about bug bounty programs is that there is a lot of competition. When you're taking part in a bug bounty program, you're competing against both the security of the site, and also against the thousands of other people who are taking part in the program. For this reason, it's important to think critically. This is why passive and active reconnaissance is especially important for bounty programs, as you need to look a lot deeper than you would in a regular penetration test. Importance of reconnaissance and pen testing? Extracting relevant information can play a game-changing role in many situations. Extracting this information is pretty simple and somewhat easy. Sometimes recon can go beyond collecting basic information to understand the system and can also identify information which might straight away lead to exploitation. Sometimes without actually touching the entity being tested, even after having such significance this phase is not given enough importance and most of the tests focus straight away on exploitation. The key point here is that exploitation is certainly important but performing a thorough recon could prove very helpful in it and also make it easier, faster and stealthier. Determining the target Ideally you're going to be wanting to choose a program that has a wide scope. You're also going to be wanting to look for a bounty program that has a wider range of vulnerabilities within scope. The wider attack surface for the bounty program, and the wider range of vulnerabilities considered valid, then the higher the chance would be of getting a valid payout. After choosing which bounty program you're going to attempt, the next basic step that would be to map out your attack surface to know more about it. Time to map out the target. Rule number one that I mostly forgot to follow and ended up messing the day completely that is properly reading the terms for the bounty and clearly understand which domains are in scope and which forms of vulnerabilities are considered valid reports. Sometimes I forgot to do that and shit happens submitting things that aren't within scope of the bounty program. Tells the people running the program that you haven't properly read the terms. 
and it will lead to them not taking your future reports seriously. I mean seriously. So now before doing any attacker testing you really need to actively passively person reconnaissance on your target to effectively map out most of the things you can do to get to know more about your target. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So following this phrase I always keep the target closer to my heart and mapped out as much as I can it always give me an idea of how everything is structured how everything works on the target. I start every program by mining information about the domains, email servers and social network connections. The larger the scope the higher the chance of finding a bug. Let's assume all subdomains are within scope, then one of the first steps would be to enumerate valid subdomains.